say the uh, the Altimus and the base model Altimus and you know the base model Malibus are like the baby mama car. Cause everybody got baby mama got one. Anyways. Yo, what the Big Muscle Gains Nations? Big Muscle Gains back with another video, man. Okay, today is gonna be a whole lot of stuff. I gotta go back to the damn Chevy dealership to go pick up my Camaro, but in the meantime, they gave me the loaner of the 2019 Chevy Malibu, right? I wanted to go ahead and talk about it real fast. You know, you guys check it out. It's like this bluish metal gray type of color. You get what I'm saying? So it's like the bluish gray metal type of color. One thing I like about the new Malibus, how it, uh, the, the new grill is actually looking pretty nice. A little Camaro-ish, a little, uh, what you call it? Chevy Blazer-ish or whatever the hell the new thing is called. But yeah, check it out. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out the inside, right? So this is the LT model. Comes with an upgraded uh, Chevy. Well, it comes with the base model Chevy MyLink and things like that. So you can tell it's still brand new. This plastic is still on. I ain't messed with nothing. But and as you can tell, they did an okay job by this being, you know, a very cheap car. Uh, it rides okay. It rides a little rough and things like that. But one thing, uh, you know, it's cool. I guess for the upgraded radio, the, the radio actually looks different. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on. And let you guys see the radio action of the new, uh, I would say, Chevy MyLink system for the base model esque Chevy Malibu. So as you see right there, we have Android Auto. We have. Uh, you know, Apple CarPlay. Basically, this is just the basic, turn it off, Chevy MyLink system. Uh, the car is zero to 60 in, uh, I would say, eight, seven, eight seconds, because, you know, it is not the fastest car in the world. I like to say the uh, the Altimus and the base model Altimus and, you know, the base model Malibus are like the baby mama car, because everybody got a baby mama that got one. Anyways, so uh, one thing I like, I would say about the car and they try to make it seem more uh luxury no, i'm gonna say luxury they try to put a little bit more extra style on it was the uh the fake diamond pattern i'd say with the uh dashboard but they could have actually added i would say a different color with the fake instead of going like black on satin black with the dash or you know the the pattern and things like that i would have just said hey throw it like a a black with a, a gray or something like give it like the two-tone type of look in the real Saturn the real satin or diamond stitch pattern and things like that. I know you got to cut costs as a cheap car but you get what I'm saying like check it out so yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about right there so I am 65 so check me out you can kind of see you know I'm sitting pretty cool one thing I like to do, uh, in my Camaro, I sit straight up, but you know, if I'm in, I'll say a four-door car, I like to be right where this pillar is because this pillar right here is like the safest spot when you get an accident, right here, so to get hit in the door. So, oh my bad. So 6'5", 235. Can I fit in the back of the Malibu? Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so here's my leg room. You guys can see, you know, 6'5 to 35 in the back of a Malibu. And one thing this uh, LT does have the little Panameric, Panameric the damn long sunroof. It does have that. Uh, you know, the whole entire sunroof doesn't extend, as you see right here. So, you know, it doesn't extend. But. You know, it may, uh, it's cool, you know, like it gives like a little touch of, a, I would say, a more of an expensive type of car. But, you know, as you can still tell, you know, the LT model has the cloth seats, you know. But at the end of the day, if you had some kids, say if you had, I mean, even, even if you had a couple grown kids or kids, you know, over 16 years old and you couldn't, I would say it was... Of course, you would like to get an SUV because that's sort of a roof line and things like that. But yeah, man, this Malibu offers a decent amount of size for for four adults. Like seriously, again, six five. I got it how I'm sitting, how I actually sit in a driver's seat and stuff like that. So, but hey, man, uh, yeah, this has been like a little, I would, it, an impressions. That's what y'all can call it. I drove it for about. 
30 minutes. I'm at the house. Gotta go back and pick up my damn car. Shout out to Chevy and that shitty ass service. That's the only thing about Chevy. Customer service sucks ass. Cause when stuff is broke on your car, they won't fix it. They can make a cheap, a really nice cheap made car. You know, they, boy, they'll design the hell out of some cheap shit. But the question is when you take it in, are they gonna fix it? So, anyway, let's close the door. Just like that. See, you know, 6'5", I'm not the average uh, height of an American, you know. So, a little taller, I guess. But at the end of the day, oh, snap, man. Oh, it does have the the lights right here. Speaker right here, I guess, for the, either for the intercom, for the OnStar. You know, different speakers all around the car. You know, has, you know, decent amount of trunk space. In the back, it does have a uh, cigarette lighter port. In the front, it has a USB and a USB-C and an auxiliary cord jack and a, another cigarette lighter and the LT model. But yeah, man, this has been a nice little impressions video. Let me get out this car so I can take the stuff back and go get my goddamn, my red sexy thing. Okay, shit better be fixed. But again, oh, we gotta check out the back. We gotta, I ain't even show you guys the back of the car, right? So, here's the back, right? So yeah, man, it does look nice and everything like that. It does, you know, under 23,000, under 25,000. While I get this car, I think I might for under that certain price value. But again, it is the problem with the Custom service and you know if you take a car in the shop is it always gonna be a hassle getting it fixed I've experienced that with Chevy and I hate it with a passion so personally I would never buy another Chevy again now I was sounding a little biased but again I do own a Chevy so I'm talking real-life experiences over here and the shitty dealership I'm talking about in Las Vegas is Ed Barzart in Las Vegas crappy as hell I always give you attitudes another long story but go to bigmusclegains.com get this good see this jacket that's Big Muscle Gains Apparel, man. Hold on, I, got, I don't got no shirt on. Take it off. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Subscribe to the channel, man. If you like different videos, if you like videos like this, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I do, uh, what? Help, 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 help tips or answer questions. All that. Ask a question in the comments. Or add me at Big Muscle Gains on Instagram. Ask me a question. DM me them questions. I'll make a video about it. Damn right.